Right, welcome to your lesson on electromagnetic waves. It's the final lesson before your review lesson and then your test for this unit. Um, so the first thing we need to look at is what is half-life uh, as one of your do now questions. So pause the video, answer the do now questions. When you've answered them on your notebook, unpause the video and then you can check your answers and make any corrections. Right, so what is half-life? Half-life is simply, uh, let's zoom in a bit. Oh, let's select a pen. There we go. Uh, the time for activity, mass as well, uh, to drop to 50%, okay, or half, okay. Radioactive material has a half-life of 20 years. How many half-lives will pass in 80 years? Okay, so um, if it's 20 years, we will go 0 to 20. 20 to 40, 40 to 60, and then 60 to 80, okay, so let's count the half-lives, there's one, two, three, four half-lives, okay, the same radioactive material starts with an activity of 100 counts per minute, what is the activity after, after two half lives, okay, so I haven't got space to write on my table, so we start with 120, if we half that it goes to 60, there's one half life, and if we half that again it's going to go to 30 counts per minute. Okay, half life for the graph now, okay, so we find our initial value, it's 80, half of that is 40, we draw a horizontal line, draw a vertical line, and we can see the half life is two days. Excuse my spelling mistake there. Should be four. What will the activity be after three half-lives? So there's one half-life. Okay, we know the half-life. We can do it a couple of ways. We know the half-life is two days. So three half-lives would be six days. Okay, so we can say that the activity will be ten. Okay, from the graph. Alternatively, we could half is 40. Half of that is 20. Okay, so there's our next one. Okay, half of 20 is 10. There's our next one, okay? Again, we get six days. So after six days, we'll have an activity of 10 becquerels. Okay? That should be a Q. All right, and you'll notice that um, on the graph, each half-life is two days, okay? Every time it halves, it takes two days, okay? So the next half-life will be five, and that'll be on eight days. After that, will be two and a half becquerels, that'll be on 10 days, okay? So the half-life stays the same, but the activity will reduce, okay? All right, so let's uh, move on and see what we're doing. So today we're going to be comparing infrared and ultraviolet radiation. In fact, we're going to be comparing all of the parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, but we're going to do them one at a time, okay? So in your booklet, you have um, the boxing up sheet, okay? You need to fill in the boxes on that, as, and I'll show you how to do that in the sheets all right we'll do the first one together you will i'll talk you through the next one and you'll fill out the boxes and then you're going to write a long answer question and the final one you're going to do completely on your own using the model that i'm showing you now okay so start off with here's our four questions okay so question number one what is the topic of the question and what are the key words number two what is the command word and how will this affect what i write okay so that's the type of question we've been asked what do we need to do to answer the question okay core knowledge is next and then how can I start my answer? In the exam, you'll be given a question and there may be up to three quarters of a page of blank paper, okay? So if you know how to start your answer and you write those sentence starters out, you no longer have a blank page. It's gonna be much easier for you to answer that question. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're gonna be doing. So here's your sheet, this is what it looks like. We've got the question in the middle. It's worth six marks, okay? You are gonna fill in these boxes, okay? You can type into these boxes. Uh, and I'll show you exactly what that's going to look like now, okay? So, start off with what is the topic asking you about, okay? What are the keywords? Right, so, uh, we're being asked about the electromagnetic spectrum. That's the whole lesson today. Our keywords, radio, gamma rays, okay? We've also got wavelength, frequency, speed, and energy, okay? We know about those because it's in our um, knowledge organizer sheet that's on your notebook page. Okay, the next bit, what's the command word? Okay, so the command word here is compare. We're going to compare two parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. All right, 
so we just need to describe the similarities and or differences between things and we need to write about both of them not just one okay so I can't just talk about radio waves I've got to say radio waves are something compared to gamma rays okay it might be how they are the same it might be how they are different okay next part we're going to look at the core knowledge okay so you may be thinking hang on we haven't learned anything about electromagnetic waves you don't have to it's all in the knowledge organizer sheet here so we are going to be looking at uh, this top part here radio waves so we've got wavelength frequency energy okay lowest energy longest wavelength there's some uses here okay and then we're going to look at gamma rays at the bottom here okay all right highest energy shortest wavelength okay uses all right and then here it tells us about some things that are similar for all of them okay so if i just take my highlighter okay common feature is that it all travel through the vacuum at speed of light okay um Okay, you can also talk about the wavelength, the amplitude, okay? All right, loads of information there for us to use. Right, so I've summarized that in there. Okay, you're allowed to use some of this. All electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed in a vacuum. All EM waves are transverse, okay? They all transfer energy without transferring matter, okay? Then we've talked about radio waves and gamma rays comparing to each other and their uses, okay? So, this part is sentence starts. How can I start my eye? Okay, so we can either talk about all electromagnetic waves. We could say radio waves have a longer wavelength than gamma rays, or gamma rays have a higher frequency than radio waves. Okay, we could say gamma rays have a higher energy than radio waves. All right, they're all good sentence starters. All right, so this is what your sheet should look like when it's all filled in. Okay, so you can pause the video now, fill this in on your own sheet. Okay, if it doesn't fit in the box, that doesn't really matter, but you can make the text smaller if you wish, okay? So pause the video, get that typed in to your box, okay? And then I have mod what a, a good or an excellent answer would be, okay? So this would give us six marks, okay? So I, I've broken it down so you can see the similarities, how they're the same in here, okay? So this is true of all electromagnetic waves, okay? Uh, the differences, how they're different. So here we're talking specifically about radio waves compared to gamma rays. Gamma rays compared to radio waves. Okay, I can't just say radio waves have a, have a longer wavelength because I haven't said longer than what. Okay, and then I said about what these are used for. Okay, so that would give me six marks. All right. So the question you're going to be doing, or we're going to be doing together before you go on to do your own one, is about microwaves and X-rays. Okay, again. We'll set it out with our four boxes. Okay, there's our question sheet that you've got on your uh, notebook. Okay, and we can start by looking at what's the topic asking you about. Okay, obviously the electromagnetic spectrum, it's still the same topic. Wavelength, frequency, and energy, and speed. Okay, what are the command words? Again, we're looking at compare. Okay, what's the core knowledge? Okay, so some of the core knowledge is going to be the same because this part is true for all electromagnetic waves okay whereas now we're looking at microwaves and we're looking at x-rays okay we're not we don't we care about gamma rays and radio waves for this because the question doesn't ask us about those all right so we've put in our core knowledge in there there it is in our blue box and then sentence starters. really similar sentence starters okay i've started with x-rays and microwaves and again all electromagnetic waves okay so similar sentence starters we've not got that blank page anymore the information you need is here okay slide so i suggest you pause on this slide use the colors to help you put it the information in the right boxes okay when you're ready to go press play and we'll go on to okay and then we can fill this in i haven't filled it in this time but so you need to fill this in now taking the information from the final question. Okay, so answer um, for microwaves and x-rays. Use the well and to help you do that, okay, before I've written a long move on to talking about infrared and ultraviolet. Okay, so you're going to compare these two. So how are they similar and how are they different? Okay. All right, so you want to be talking about the energy, the frequency, and the wavelength there, okay? 
you are going to compare ultraviolet rays to infrared radiation. This is going to be exactly the same as the previous two questions that you've just tried. Okay, you should. So, there's your boxing up sheet. You need to fill in that boxing up sheet, similar to the way we've done the other two. Okay, and then you are going to write a long answer um, response to that. Okay, so try your best. Make sure um, you get yourself those six marks by writing about the six different things. Okay, so compare. How are they similar? Should be two marks for that. Contrast. How are they different? Should be two marks for that. Okay, and then we're looking at some uses and a mark each for a use of ultraviolet and a use of infrared. Okay. Good luck. If you have any problems, speak to your teacher. All you need to do is just click on the assignment, open up the notebook, and then you'll be able to enter your answers into the notebook. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.